because it's got fantasy, it's got thrill, it's got adventure. Sudeep sir, how long did the script take? How long did it take to make this film? <laughs> so, Anup, why don't you answer that question? Well, it uh, took me a year to write the script and then one more year to refine it. So, to get it to the shape that is in right now. Wow, can we have... Can we have just the greatest applause? It took you a year to write the script and one year to refine it. Yeah, one year he wrote without me, one year wrote after me. <laughs> Sir, so, uh, you know, we've, we've seen so many trailer launches. This is something that we can do we, here. Can we have the mic volume a little up? I don't know if it's someone here. Yeah, we'll get it. We'll get it increased. Yes, so sir. I was just saying that now the whole world of movies has changed. It's not about one industry that is based in the West or the South. But all these films that have become pan-India films, where language is no barrier. I saw the trailer plate. It says, you know, releasing in Kannada, Tamil, Telugu, Malayalam, and Hindi. Now, we talk about the films that have become these pan-India films. I'll just name them so that everybody gets a, a feel of it. Pushpa never had this kind of a trailer launch. Uh, RRR had a trailer launch. It was done on a big scale. The film KGF also did not have this big a trailer launch. Vikram, Kamal sir's film, had a launch like that. You just had an entire performance, you know, on the ground floor the when, when you were coming up. What is the thought when you're putting this film out in such a big manner, you know, in all the languages? See, I guess if you're going to a five-star restaurant and paying such a bill, you need such a platter, right? So I guess if we do not... Uh, respect our own film that it is big. And if we do not look at our own lives that it is big, who else will? So this is a big film because we started big, we had a bigger idea, bigger thought, and I, that's exactly how we want to present it. You know, that's exactly the result. When we're looking forward to a bigger results, I think that's the best approach is to go the way we want to. Jacqueline, <laughs> you've, you've, you've traveled the entire length and breadth of India now through your movies. You've done a lot of Hindi movies. You've now done a film which is also originally in Canada, but it's going to be a pan-India film. Just tell me, how different is the scale? Like just looking at that song, the number of dancers, the kind of set that has been put up. When you walk onto a set like that, which is not just a Hindi film set, forget about which language it is in, with someone like him who's such a huge star, does it overwhelm you? <laughs> it does. Honestly, after all of the work I've even done uh, over all these years, when I walked onto the Vikran Throna set for Rakhama, I was in shock because this was um, 2021 post second wave. And the precautions they took, the amount of work they put into making sure everybody was safe, everything was handled well, um, there was like... I felt like there was a thousand people on that set. Um, it, it really was magnanimous. It was very surreal. Uh, I couldn't believe it. I keep talking, you know, about how um, the set had every single, like, perfection in it. Like, it was grand. It was crazy. Um, but one thing I want to mention about uh, the way they have done the trailer launch, and uh, I experienced this also while, while I was shooting for Rakama, was um, everything for them in this film uh, and the way they're working this entire team is like a celebration. So even when I was there, like it was like every single person on that set, um, the thousand of us, um, you know, from like the lighting to, you know, to spot to uh, uh, visual effects, everything, they were all having a really good time. And we were, as you saw, the song was really, really big and, you know, there was so much to do and a lot of hard work to put into it. But still people were smiling, having fun. Uh, pack up was, you know, like, it was like, oh, okay, but great, we did a great day of work. And it was, I mean, you, honestly, kudos to them because they are the ones, they are the captains and they really put it all together. So thank you so much, Sudeep sir. Thank you so much, Anoop. Thank you again for having me as, you know, a part of this film. Um, and uh, really, it was, it's, you know, a great kind of... Uh, um, way to enter to Canada industry and uh, I really had such a great time. Thank you. Thank you. I'm just going to pick up all the words that Jacqueline used. She said it was grand, it was a celebration, you're the producer, everything costs money. But just how many sleepless nights did you have? Because when you look at the trailer, the kind of scale that has been mounted on, just what was your thought when you had started with this film? What was Anoop's idea? I'll just intervene in between. Uh, my producer is my friend, 
my <laughs> manager also, uh, Jack Mahai. Jack Manju, uh, he's had uh, uh, multiple fractures on his leg. So that's why he's not traveling. So he's my co-producer, Mr. Alankar. He's representing him, just so you know. Yeah, yeah. Talk, yeah. So uh, Alankar, just when, you ha when you're a producer on a film and when the director has such a grand vision, what are the thoughts in a producer's mind? Now, basically, <laughs> <laughs> you should have said it on the mic. <laughs> now, basically, what happened was like uh, all the uh, work was on the Sudeep sir's and Jack sir's shoulder. Uh, it's only that I came into the part because I wanted to be part of this kind of uh, big movie. Uh, Jack, if you look at it, he's though he's little. If you see him, he's a little short, but his way of thinking is way above. So he's a guy who came about two years back and said, I want to do something, a teaser on Butch Khalifa. It's, that's, that's what his idea. So, so his ideas are like that. And <clears throat> good thing is like uh, when Invenio Origin, though it's a Singapore and a Dubai based company, it's the first time we are venturing into India. It was earlier Invenio Films India was a production arm of Invenio Origin. But Invenio Origin is the first movie in terms of Vikrant Rona. So we want our international presence also to be part of this movie. So coming about all the, the grandeur and everything, it's all because of Mr. Sudeep sir and Mr. Jack and enhanced by Jacqueline and then Anu Bandari. <laughs> that's how. So I, I basically lended a hand towards them. That's how it has been and I've been safe. That's what I can say. Well, and that presence is looking absolutely fantastic, right? Hi Sudeep sir, Akriti Hi. here from Absolute India News. Uh, sir, I want to ask, after Maki, this is your second Pan-India release uh, and on such a grand scale. So, what are your expectations from it? Big. Hello. Hi, uh, this is Akash Bhatnagar from Bollywood Bubble. Jacqueline, firstly, you are looking stunning. Thank you so much, uh, thank you. I wanted to ask you this. <laughs> I wanted to ask you this that uh, we got to know that you made Kicha sir make his real debut, Instagram real debut. I have heard his side of the story in an interview. So I want to know, to know from you what tricks you had to pull out to kind of convince him to do that. So I actually uh, got him on a video call <laughs> and um, we, we had a little challenge that uh, he said, okay, fine, I will uh, do the reel because this was his first reel and uh, he likes to believe that he can't dance, but I genuinely think he's a better dancer than me and I found that out on... <laughs> No, on the on the song, um, the the choreographer Johnny Master, um, on after the first shot that we did together, he actually said, "Okay, cut." Then he was like, uh, "Jacqueline, thoda or energy." Sudeep sir, perfect. And I was like, "Oh my God, this is my first shot with Sudeep sir." And I was like, "And my choreographer is telling me to put more energy into it." So he really is. I think he is very modest, um, and I really wanted him to, you know, to do this reel because the song is so amazing, and I really believe he's a good dancer. Um, so he challenged me. I had to say a few lines in Kannada, and uh, he did the reel. <laughs> that was it. <laughs> uh, hi, this is uh, over here, Sohelia from Ancient Bollywood. Uh, uh, the trailer is amazing, a real a visual treat. Uh, congratulations to the entire team. Uh, Salman Khan is uh, releasing the film. Uh, Sudeep Ji, you have a great bonding with him, you were in Dabang. So at that time, was it like discussed about this film and uh, Salman is known for his friendship and you know, he is always there to support whatever good thing comes, you know. You and Jacqueline, I would like to know something, you know, your bonding and this film. Uh, association with Salman Khan. My bonding with her? No. Both, 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 both. Okay. So, uh, no sir, we didn't discuss anything in Dabang. I, um, I totally believe that uh, my relationship with him is nothing to give and take policies. Dabang was uh, my gesture towards his film. This is his gesture towards my film. And uh, Salman Khan, sir, the person and the human I know, he's very okay to come and do a song or a cameo or anything of that sort. But uh, SKF is very close to his heart. So I don't think he will uh, associate, it, uh, associate with our film unless and until he's quite confident about the content. But 
it was much much later that uh, actually during the dabang we we were just in the initial discussion stages also so it's later much later he saw the uh, clippings and everything and then uh, he threw up on that uh, idea is there anything that i can do i think that's a huge line coming from him and uh, of course i smiled i said of course and what better than prasasi we were not expecting anything else yeah we have done a hard work we have done a bit from a brother to brother he came in as a presenter and then today he is taking a lot of initiatives and uh, he wanted to be here even in bangalore and today at mumbai but then because of his protocol issues he is not uh, that is a very huge uh, elephant strength we have got on the first title card when you see skf also so i think that's the bonding i have and he has always been welcoming me every time i think uh, both of us have been unconditional to that and uh, as far as uh, jackie goes i guess uh, i said my first hi with her on a accidental call i had called video call on so hell's number and she bumped in from behind him and that's when i first said hello i had not seen her or met her apart from the films i guess later we got to know and when the song popped up and uh, his idea of the song i first name i this was the first name we took and i was i was like call her she i remember one song of hers in kick where she dances and salman bhai claps he says this is your bit this is my bit i'm not going to dance that is my same emotion said anyway the song she has to dance i said just get her she is a fabulous and she'll do and this was just a thought so we were not even sure whether they will accept whether uh, they would come i do not know see because we also had a scene and the moment an actor comes in for a celebrity dance and if she has a scene they immediately look upon it like a character but i don't think she had any hitches she immediately came but then he put a bomb on me that even i am dancing i didn't know till then he actually they conned me that i was actually a part of the song like going around and looking there's a actually it's a part of a huge scene and then they conned me that uh, i was too embarrassed to say anything because they were already looking at me i said okay and i did but then uh, one thing i should tell you on uh, behalf of our uh, team that uh, she has done a scene and uh, the previous day to the scene as we were packing up the director wanted a rehearsal of the scene and uh, this lady surprised us with the entire scene she didn't even take a single prompt of a language she is unaware of she just did the entire scene on the rehearsal and i was quite shocked i asked her how do you know the whole lines and then she came back on me saying why was it wrong <laughs> i didn't know what to say further it was not wrong but it was a surprising because many people take prompts many people especially the language you don't know sir and she did a great job and uh, and then i was insisting she only dubs gives a voice because there's some uniqueness about her voice when she talks so that's my bonding with her right now and i'm on stage with her so this is to your left i said the faridun from bolurangama i know you <laughs> Okay, so uh, so the uh, I think fantastic promo. Um, uh, we've we've seen several films uh, that have been made in say 3D, for example. But I think uh, the way uh, the way this film is being mounted and the experience of 3D in in this one, uh, the promo, I think it's it's truly truly unique. I don't think that we've experienced that uh, in Indian cinema yet. So congratulations. My question to you is, uh, what is the importance of patience and tenacity in pursuit of excellence? Patience is a must. for anything i personally believe and uh, before i even answer that question uh, you sat here and saw the 3d yes yes okay i think you should see it once more from there that's why because yesterday we had a, a view in bangalore and we were made to sit in front and uh, we just realized we had to go little rows behind to get the best experience and today we made that intelligence of walking up there so you should see it from there but anyway i guess uh, um see when we make a film like this uh, for that we don't have a thought in mind that you know we're going to go make it big we just want to tell a story that we have been working upon and these are the things and especially when you have unconditional people supporting us unconditional people as in it can be a per se it can be actors it can be technicians it can be the finance it can be the investor producer whoever it is when everybody are unconditional no that means this will need a lot of patience and then that starts growing it grows and grows and what could be a one year project becomes a two year project and with the help of covid it became a three year project but today we are all very happy the outcome is like this and uh, just because of a couple of films or anything doing well and going uh, pan india is not the whole reason for us to be here 
this was an idea even before anything had clicked that we want to say this story globally. And for that, I am sure that you understand that everybody on the set had to be patient. We have already celebrated 3344 four birthdays <laughs> before getting the trailer out to you. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, so, um, uh, Jacqueline, um, what sort of conversation did you have with your mirror today? That I look beautiful every day, but maybe today is special, today is different. I, I look extra beautiful today. Did you have that conversation today? No, I've had no such conversation <laughs> with myself in the mirror today. But I think you. I don't know. Do you do you do that? No, I, I I can't. That you look exceptional I, today. You do. <laughs> I think day. I think you're looking outstanding, and I think you deserve to have that conversation. So congratulations for that. Thank you. Now, so when much. it comes to Rakamma, for example, uh, do you think that uh, there's 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 an answer to Jumme ke Raat now? Post this this one. Every song is special. I mean. Um, you know, on on Jumme Ki Raat, there was this whole different. Of course, I was, I think, way more nervous. I think in in Kick. So when we were doing Jumme Ki Raat, also, I just remember being extremely nervous throughout that song, not knowing, you know, like what was going to become of it and how I would be performing. And uh, somehow, you know, on uh, Rakama. Um, I guess, you know, maybe years later, <laughs> um, uh, I was a little bit more like confident about it and, uh, you know, hearing the song, just also working with uh, all of these amazing people. Um, I knew also the exact same, uh, the character I needed to be. She had to be like very, very like fearless and, uh, and out there and, you know, like just kind of cheeky also. And um, so I think according to that character, I allowed myself also to become that on the set. And uh, it was ex exact equal amount of hard work. The steps were, were crazy. Um, you know, we rehearsed for like a good, I think, 15 days. And same thing with Jumme Ki Raat. Um, but yeah, I think uh, every song is so special, right? So this one had a completely different energy. Um, and I hope, of course, you know, we're already getting such great reviews on it. Um, and um, I know a lot of people are dancing along to it, people are liking the, the hook step, and that's what matters the most, that the audiences do appreciate it. Sudeep so sir, to your left, Amit here, from the Anik Bhaskar newspaper. Sudeep so sir, when you say something that we are taking a pan-India film, so India is so diverse, and its taste is changing every 100 km, 200 km, change hote rehte hai, hai? even the kind of commercial film we look at in Telugu, mein hai. उस तरह की कमर्शियल फिल्म शायद कन्नड़ में नहीं होती या तमिल में मतलब थोड़ी वो अलग होती है तो ये पैन इंडिया फिल्म हम कैसे सारी इंडिया की ऑडियंस को ये अपील करेगी सर देयर इज अ कमर्शियलिटी इन एवरी स्टेट इट्स जस्ट दैट प्रॉब्ली यू आर नॉट अवेयर ऑफ इट यू आर गेटिंग अवेयर ऑफ इट नाउ सो वेलकम टू आवर फिल्म इंडस्ट्री स्टिल I just want you to know that uh, we watch uh, all the OTT platforms. Today, if uh, a thing like COVID had not come, I don't think you'd be so aware of a Korean series, Korean language films, Thai series, Thai language films. We all had time, sir, to look into these lives. And then we suddenly realized there are a lot of people in the world who are making very good films. Now, it doesn't necessarily have to have a comparison of any sort. So when we say Telugu industry is coming in as pan India with its commercialities, uh, sir, yeah, yeah, please. yeah, when it is having of that sort, we are not taking them as a comparison, sir. We all tell our stories. Even in Telugu industry, there are a lot of directors who tell their own stories. Each one is not uh, actually, you know, kind of looking into what others are doing and uh, uh, conning their uh, scripts. So here, Kannada industry has been surviving very long enough to proudly say that, you know, we are also here and we tell stories. It's just that uh, theatrically we never used to have releases. It used to be only satellite and dubbed. Now we are coming theatrically, so people are getting aware of all the kind of languages that's in India. It's not just South Indian. I think every other language also deserves to have a theatrical release. It's just about their capacities and uh, their ideas and their approach. And this uh, kind of pressure to not say that, because KGF is your Kannada state. Ki hai. और उसने जो लाइन खींची है वो काफी लंबी है। सो क्या मतलब विक्रांत रोना भी हम कहेंगे कि हजार करोड़ क्लब की फिल्म के लिए है? सर, I seen a man who's driving one lakh rupees salary also very happy and I've seen 
Mr. Ambani also equally happy, sir. So if a uh, thousand crores is what is going to make a person happy, I don't know. Maybe I will do two thousand then. But if a success is what is going to make me happy, I think you asking me this question is already making me a very successful man. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Yeah, the question over hello, here. Hello, hello. Uh, director, sir, over here. Anup here. Yeah, uh, question to you, sir. Uh, the trailer is very good, I saw. Uh, we have seen a lot of 3D movies earlier also. But see, this seems to be a little different with a lot of visual effects and a lot of, I think, uh, latest uh, things you have used, just want to know more about it. It's looking very different. Uh, so when we decided to make a 3D film out of it, so I was asked a question uh, that, you know, would 3D work for this film? So my instant answer was yes, because, uh, you know, the way the film was shot, there was a lot of parallax in the camera movement and all that. So I was very confident that this film would look good in 3D. But my concern was, will we get a team that can make it look good? Because, uh, you know, having a dream is uh, one thing, but realizing it needs a lot of talented people. So luckily for us, uh, you know, we had a good VFX team, a good 3D team, and we worked day in, uh, day, in day out. And uh, we continue to, you know, do that, uh, put in that effort every day now uh, to give you that experience that uh, you just saw in the trailer. So we want to make it even better in the film. Uh, so, yeah, so I think having a good team, you know, we had a team called Race 3D working on a 3D and... Uh, uh, Radiance VFX is uh, one that is heading the whole uh, VFX department and they did a fantastic job and uh, that is the reason you're seeing that result on screen. Hello. All right, we're taking one last question from that Hello. lady in the corner. Hello, sir. Gumma banda gumma. Gumma nige. Welcome to Mumbai. Mumbai is going to go. I have a question. I have a question. I have a question. Covid ali argo kelsa ali lah. Matra Sudip matra busy idru anta. Adur pagi ni mana ella entire team ki kelsa idu ni. Adur pagi sel pan bawa el tira. English ali ali okay. Kannada ali okay. Argo gotta gudi lai lai idre. Sir translation. I love I love I love my language man, but I'm not so. Sir, yar yar ta gudi lai lai idre. That's what I would like to. Kelsa ali na na Kannada ka das vajan odi nangi istu santosha idu. Ma'am subtitle. Adu ke elta idu. Because nobody here can understand what you are asking. If you could just translate it. Actually, the trailer was released in Kannad. The hat-trick hero of Shuraj Kumar, who was our hat-trick hero, he told them that everyone was in the whole COVID, but where the COVID is not so much, they were shooting there. I was going to shoot about the entire team. They were going to ask them. 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 Sorry, Sadeep, sir. I understand, I understand. Ma'am, it's not that I was looking for where COVID was less, I was working there. Where I was working, there was less than COVID. Just... No, it's not a precaution. Ma'am, COVID... It's like, you know, I can... If you're walking into the hall, I can figure out you're walking hall, right? How do I see from where COVID is coming, man? From whose nose? Yeah, that's right. Sorry, Sadeep, sir. 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 Sorry, Sadeep, it was, I guess, just a dare that I did that, you know, I'll go and work and uh, because we had uh, things to meet up and it was getting a little claustrophobic. Somebody had to and I did and we got lucky and we created a bubble even before uh, we knew a word called bubble. We took our precautions and everything and but we dared and we could finish it. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, this is Rachna here. Hi. Uh, I'm from Bombay Times. My question, I have actually one question each for both of you, Kicha sir and Jacqueline. Who do I direct my question to first? Ah, <laughs> the question is for both of you, you can't direct it to the director. Okay. So, no. can I ask uh, you uh, first? He's the man behind everything, so just point <laughs> out. Yes, no, the yes, question is specifically for you, sir. Yes, so, uh, with 25 years behind and with the kind of work we are seeing around us today, what do you, you know, do to elevate the level of the work that you put forward when you make a film like Vikran Throne or anything else that you decide to back, how do you make yourself, your work relevant to your audience when you have so much already behind you? What do you sort of put into your work? You said it right. It's already behind me, so I have to look front, no? Yeah. So I have to look ahead about what more can I do to entertain. See, this is the only profession I've been in from the past 25 years and this is all I know, to tell stories. So. There are a lot of beautiful minds and uh, creative people like Anoop and people who are around me. 
who still want to make films and when we collaborate this all this is what comes out see um, eventually i think uh, storytelling has uh, been the only thing that we have been doing in film industry but the way we say it changes every decade it changes but eventually if you look at it in from close quarters storytelling has changed drastically in the last 2 to 3 years somehow uh, it used to just go back couple of years it used to still be the same old kind of four songs five songs of film and a couple of things and entertainment and a joke and comedy scenes incorporated but right now i think it is all about speed it's about how fast you tell a story it's about how, what is the momentum of your film leave your story and script aside what is the speed of your film are you telling me something what is not connected in the film so these are the thoughts you know and especially when we start looking into our lives this is what we want to do we want to tell better stories how do we do it we educate ourselves too what are the requirements today so we have to and uh, if you are still thirsty ma'am i'm sure we will still drink water <laughs> okay. and i'm very thirsty that's nice to know uh jacqueline i had a question for you also uh this year i mean you're starting your releases with vikrant rona there's just there's circus there's ram setu there's grandio attached to every project that you have sort of green lit in the last 3 4 years that is all coming out this year what exactly were you sort of looking at when you were sort of going ahead and saying a yes to all of these projects because there is some kind of you know scale attached to each one of them uh, i think also like you had mentioned in your question to sudeep sir um i think the question for a lot of actors when they're taking up certain roles or films uh they always turn it off <laughs> no i turn it off um they do look for growth and i think uh for me um with every project i look at like how can i grow through this um is it somebody new that i want to be working with that i can learn from um with vikrant rona of course that is a completely different industry altogether uh so for me the challenge was um now performing in a totally different language uh with a completely different uh crew and um singing in kannada was actually quite <laughs> it was quite difficult um and even giving that uh, those scenes in kannada was actually quite difficult it was quite nerve wracking um but uh, i knew if i didn't put myself out there and if i did, didn't at least attempt it um i i the last thing i want to do is remain you know stagnant in my life or in my career so um it definitely opened my eyes up to you know what there is and so many other possibilities as well um so yeah i think it was it's mainly that just how how can i grow thank you for the question thank you <laughs>